convention I was taught how to nurture people how to get them involved in men's club how to get them to commit to men's club not by making them the chairman of an event but instead giving them a small discreet job that they can do and get a feeling of accomplishment I was always very careful to compliment that person and make them feel valued and that's what I was taught so then that way when I came back to that person and asked them to do a little more they were willing to do it I was also taught a very important skill by Harvey Bronstein, who was one of the founders of the Care Roof Initiative. Harvey and I had disagreed on how one should foster a care roof at a new congregation. He had it, I was not terribly involved in care roof at that time, and Harvey had had a, a, an appointment with a rabbi who needed guidance on how to bring care roof to his synagogue. Harvey invited me to that meeting, even though, again, I wasn't a big leader or anything in, in care roof. But he invited me to that meeting knowing that I would be giving a contrary opinion. And that taught me something about including other people's viewpoints, whether you agree with them or not. And I thought that was a great leadership skill. Lastly, I learned concrete ways to be a better public speaker, which has been great in my personal, professional, and men's club career and life. It's been invaluable and well worth the price of convention right there. All in all, convention has been so valuable to me and so important. I can't emphasize it enough. I look forward to seeing you in July in Washington. Hi, this is Jeff Shulman. I'm a past regional president of the Northern, Northern New Jersey region, and I'm going to be attending my eighth convention this coming July. One of the reasons that I enjoy convention so much is the training. Um, and it's training that doesn't just apply to my club, my region, my shul. It's training that applies to work as well. Uh, one of the things that I have learned significantly is presentation skills. Uh, I make a lot of presentations as part of my job as a project manager. And we really work, we really learn about style of presentations, things that can be brought to our clubs, to our work. Um, how to engage an audience, how to keep an audience engaged, and really how to, how to close a deal. So there's a lot at convention that's applicable to your world outside of your Jewish world. Um, I really want to see you there. Hope to see you in July. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Miles Simpson from the Western Region. Uh, Gail and I have three sons, and now we've been blessed with six grandchildren. As our sons were growing up, I started worrying about whether conservative Judaism would be vibrant and dynamic in the future, and whether my kids and my grandkids would actually be practicing Judaism. Little did I know that as, as I became involved in my men's club, I would find a solution to that. I joined my men's club and became active because I wanted to meet other Jewish guys and share in the camaraderie and the fellowship that I saw other guys in my club experience. But as I became more active, I realized that we were able to do exactly what FJMC proposed, which was involving Jewish men in their family and Jewish life. And then as I rose through the, through the regional level and went to my first convention, it became so clear to me that the FJMC is an organization that directly impacts the future of the conservative movement and enables me to do some small part in being active and, and making a difference in conservative Judaism. So the journey has been wonderful. It's been very meaningful to me to be satisfied that I can do something worthwhile, be a role model for my kids, and maybe make some impact so that the future is bright. Hi, I'm Steve Dix, and I'm the past president of the Anshay de Rome region of the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs and a proud member of the executive committee of the FJMC. Um, I attended my first convention in 2011 at Costa Mesa, and the thing that I have to tell you is 
I thought I knew about the community of the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs from my involvement at the club level and somewhat at the regional level. I had no idea how much there was that went way beyond that. The idea that I could go to convention and meet people from the UK, from India, from all over the place, all over the country, and and find out that there is so much that's going on that benefits everybody within the community. I learned about that at convention. I learned about Shomri Haaretz at convention. I learned about hearing men's voices at convention. I'd never done hearing men's voices before. What I got out of that one small 15-minute session that we did, because it was a very small session, was absolutely amazing, and I was able to take that back and show the people in my region how much value there was. You can't know about it, though, no matter how much we try to tell. Until you've been there and you've seen it and you've done it, you have no earthly idea how great the whole thing is. I have been through a lot personally in the last couple of years that has been very, very difficult for me. I lost my wife. The community that I developed as a result of having been involved at the FJMC sustained me in ways that you could never understand. Of course family was there for me. Of course friends were there for me. But the idea that there were this group of men who share the same basic ideas and ideals that I share, this enormous community that's around the world, and they were all there for me, have enabled me to be there for them as well. It's an amazing experience. You can't get it anywhere else. You won't get this kind of experience, this idea of community, this, this being a, a part of Jewish men in Jewish life, you can't get that from the Elks Club. You can't get that from being involved in the United Way. I don't think you get that from any other Jewish organization like the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs. It is an incredible experience to be there, to be able to take what you can learn at convention and take it back and share it with your friends. You've got to be there. You've got to do it. You've got to be there at Marriott Crystal City in July of 2017. I'm going to be there. You need to be there. Be there. Hi, I'm Alan Cahan, Seaboard Region. I well remember that first convention. I was a reluctant attendee, but with enough persuasion by regional leadership, I agreed to go. See, I wasn't comfortable around men I didn't know, uh, and gee, there were going to be hundreds of men that I didn't know. But that first convention opened my eyes to the world of FJMC and Men's Club, that there were lots more programs that were being done other than the club programs that my club was doing. And that first convention helped me become a better leader uh, as a mentee listening to those trainers and leaders who had successfully dealt with many of the same issues that the club that I was in was experienced. And then after a number of years, becoming a mentor to club presidents like I had been being a, a partner uh, in uh, involving their men, their Jewish men, in Jewish life in their congregation. The training and friendships that I gained helped me become a better leader, but even more than that, it became, I became a better husband, a better father to my three children, and most importantly, I became a better Jewish man. Uh, and all of that was, it was during a, a fun and exciting uh, journey that I continue to be on today. Hopefully I'll have the opportunity this summer to meet you in person at the convention and we'll be able to continue uh, that fun, rewarding, and enriching men's club journey together. I look forward to seeing you there.
is Shabbos. Shabbos is here. Shabbos, Shabbos, Shabbos is here. Shabbos, Shabbos, Shabbos is here. Yum, da, 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 da.